curious to know about the newest model homes in Crystal Canyon by Woodside? That's what I'm talking about today. Let's get started. Everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And today I am taking a tour of the newest collection by Woodside Homes called Crystal Canyon. And this is a gated community inside the Red Point Village which is off of Far Hills and the 215. And in Crystal Canyon, there are two collections. Collection one is all single story and they have three models to choose from. And collection two is all two story with three models to choose from as well. But in each of these collections, they only have two models on display. So the point of this video is that I will be showcasing collection two. So here's collection two. And in this collection, there are three two-story floor plans to choose from. And there are only two that are modeled. It's already busy out, making some progress. And then there's collection one, which will have three single story floor plans to choose from. Again, only two are modeled. So they've already sold a lot so far and it's amazing the progress that they're making. Now, Crystal Canyon's located over here in the Red Point Square Village, part of the new Summerlin West Village. And the first model we're gonna take a tour is the Sierra Plan 5 right here. They have the beautiful, nice covered front patio. And this home is 2395 square feet. It's loud out. Four to five bedrooms, two and a half to five and a half baths, a bonus room, a covered patio, and a two bay garage. Now, forgive me, I'm gonna treat it like I am making a tour for my clients when I do a virtual tour. I'm not very experienced doing this, so you guys get to be my guinea pigs. As you walk in, there is a half bath. Now, a lot of these model homes are a little more decked out than what you would get in a normal home purchase. And the base price for the Sierra Plan 5 is starting out at $459,900. And depending on the elevation you choose, the price goes up. I just spoke with the agent here in Crystal Canyon, Collection 2, and he said that they've already sold 13 homes and they've only been open a couple of weeks. So as you walk in, so this is 2,300 square feet. It looks like most of the living must be upstairs because this is quite a small um, downstairs footprint. Yeah, this is a very small downstairs footprint, uh, but I like the kitchen with the nice quartz countertops. And usually with buying new home, the cabinets are an upgrade and the countertops are an upgrade. And they do provide probably granite countertops. And if you want the quartz, it would be an upgrade. And also the flooring. The only place where they put tile is in the wet areas. So your bathrooms and kitchen will have tile and the rest of the house will have carpeting. I suggest part of your upgrade that you spend on is one, carpeting, or I should say flooring, and two, kitchen cabinets, and three, 
kitchen countertops. You know, bathrooms can be secondary as a, you know, another upgrade, but for resale purposes, you always want to focus on those three things. People don't like to have mismatched um, flooring. Now this home does come with this covered, the gauche is what they call it, or a covered patio. And then if you pay attention to the lighting, oftentimes all these can lighting is extra package that would be not included, but you would have to pay extra to get these can lighting. And then also wiring for a ceiling fan and light. Now those little circles, the smallest circle there is um, for, if there's a fire, it's the sprinklers. Now, of course, the temperature has to do, has to get very hot. Looks like in this model, the master is downstairs. I love this flooring, beautiful. And then you have access to the backyard through the master, and I'm sure this option is an extra amenity. I love looking at model homes, getting design ideas. And then here's the, oh, I'm sorry, I did say master is now called primary. And I like how they kept the consistency of the design with the matching cabinets and the same quartz countertops. I think having everything be consistent is key. And this looks like a really large shower that's private with a seat and the shower head, the rain shower head and window. Now I'm not sure if this comes with a tub. Basically when you're building a home, the builder will provide a list of options for you to add what you want to add to the home, what type of amenities you are looking for. Nice size primary closet. And of course, the nice doubled sinks. I really like this navy blue cabinets. It looks really sharp, the shaker style and interesting pools that they have added. And these lights are beautiful. Those are cool. Okay. Now, real quick, I just want to point out in most homes in Las Vegas, the primary bathroom does not have a door. I'm not sure if this model will let you put a door there or you can always just put a barn door, which I think looks better anyway. So there's a list and list of different options that you can add to the home to customize it to your needs. So we're gonna go upstairs. Oh, let's see what this is. I bet you this is probably the door to the garage. And the nice oven, stove with the microwave and a very little pantry. When I was talking to the agent, he said that the lot size are pretty small here, which are around 4,000 square feet. Now, if you do recall, the point of Red Square, I'm oh, sorry, the point of Red Point Square Village is that the lot sizes are gonna be a lot smaller and the homes are gonna be a lot closer. It's a lot of natural light. And then nice loft, which is could be a bonus room or you can keep it the loft. Look at those views. And nine times out of 10, to add this patio, it's extra, which is not bad since they already have the downstairs covered patio. So this one's pretty nice. Look at the mountain views. Now, of course, there's gonna to be tons of houses right behind it, so the views may not be as well. It looks pretty good. The 
lot of people like having a loft for their families. With the downstairs footprint being smaller, I bet you, the bedrooms are probably a lot bigger. So let's go check them out up here. Oh yeah, definitely a lot bigger. The generous size closet. And that's interesting. I'm not sure if I like that with the yellow. Hello. And their own private bathroom. That's cool. Perfect for a teenager. My daughter would love this room. It's a good sized room. And then another bedroom. I would say this is probably 12 by 12 with another closet. Oh, nice. Upstairs laundry with the honeycomb tiles. I bet you if you wanted that sink, that would be extra. But this is a nice laundry room. Wow. With all of this linen closet, it's huge. And you also have to realize when you buy a new home, a lot of the builders do not provide the main appliances, which would be your washer and dryer and your refrigerator. Oh, this is beautiful. They match the same flooring in the laundry room from the laundry room and they kept the cabinets and countertops consistent throughout. So this is the guest bathroom upstairs. I like how, how they have the bronze, black bronze uh, fixtures. Oh, it's an interesting take of the shower curtain too. I like that. Not a fan of this tile. It looks very outdated to me, but who am I, right? And then here's the last bathroom. Whoops, here's the last bedroom. <laughs> oh, this is a good size, I like this bedroom. And this one has a walk-in closet. So the only bedroom upstairs, there's only one bedroom upstairs that has its own private bathroom. Now, if you want this can lighting and it wired for a fan, that's something that you will have to pay extra with the builder. Now, obviously, this loft area could be a bedroom, making it five bedrooms instead of four. But for me, I would probably keep it the loft area. That way you have two different you know, places to watch your TV. That way, if the husband wants to watch a game, he can watch it upstairs and the wife can watch what she wants downstairs or vice versa. Or if the kids would like to make this like a game room for the kiddos. So many options that you can do. I like that there's a lot of natural light in this house. Well, that concludes our tour of the Sierra Plan 5 here at Woodside Crystal Canyon. All right, now we are taking a tour of the Mojave Plan 6 over here in Crystal Canyon by Woodside Homes at the Red Point Square Village. This model is 2325 square feet, two story, four bedrooms, three and a half to four and a half bathrooms, a bonus room, a covered patio, and a two bay gar car garage. So this is interesting, separate private little courtyard. Kind of like it, like the modern doors. And all the ceilings are nine foot ceilings. This is a nice entry. As you walk in to the left, 
looks like something. We're going to take a tour of that. And then to the right is the main living area. So let's go left first. And this looks like you can close this off in a bedroom. So a downstairs bedroom, not a master. Oh, I love herringbone. It's nice. Subway tiles and a herringbone pattern with the gray um, grout. Very nice. It's a decent sized room. I like the color of these walls, the gray with the nice accent wall. When you paint your home, new or old, keep the whole house the same color, neutral, light gray, taupe, whatever, and only have accent walls. I really like this flooring. This is a laminate flooring. I like what they did with the pattern in the front of the house. I actually feel like I like this model better it feels a little more open. And then as you walk up the stairs, except for I don't like the stair rail here, it looks very traditional, um, but I like the openness of the great room and the nice, obviously shiplap or whatever that they did to make it look like shiplap. And then all the windows, it's beautiful. As I mentioned in previous videos, a lot of this can lighting is probably extra and the pre-wiring for your fan, ceiling fan, it only comes in the master in the great room. So it'll come in the, in this room downstairs and in your master. And if you want it in any of the other bedrooms, you will have to pay extra for it. This is a beautiful kitchen. I like it. I love white think if they would have added black pools to this with the black matte lighting, it would look really sharp in my opinion. And this also has the quartz countertops. So Crystal Canyon or Woodside Homes does provide two options, quartz or granite. However, it's the basic. If you want an upgrade, like this is an upgrade, then you'd have to pay extra for it. And then the double oven, which is nice. And then a separate section for the microwave. I like that range. The views are just, I mean, this is a nice open layout. The garage. This one has a better pantry than the other floor plan. I like this one better. And a nice little hall closet. Okay. What is this? Oh, the half bath. Very nice. Interesting tile work. I like this bath. Room, simple. I like this entry. That would be nice to put your Christmas tree right there during Christmas. Let's go see what this one's all about. I don't know if I mentioned this, but it's two story, 23, 25 square feet, four bedrooms, three, to, three and a half to four and a half baths, bonus room and a covered patio with a two bay garage. I like this. Very nice. What is here? This must be Oh, oh, I like that tile flooring. Very nice. This is like a, the guest bathroom upstairs that has access to one of the bedrooms from the loft. And I bet you this is what is included for all the um, bathrooms for guests. And if you want that updated, you'd have to pay extra for it. Beautiful. Love that wall. Cute little nursery.
Which are coming out of that room. Love the color scheme. And this is the laundry room. Not a fan of that tile. It's a good size laundry room compared. And this is, oh, hmm. This is the master. I really like that. That's beautiful. And the nice balcony off the master, which is nice. And I bet you if you wanted the slider to be this big, it's going to cost you extra. Now, the only thing I don't like about the master being where it's located is that it's close to the laundry room. I don't know how about that how I feel about that, especially with sound. But I really like this wall, it's beautiful. And the master bathroom is nice too. It's a lot bigger than the Sierra Plan 5 model. As you walk in, you have the separate toilet area and then a linen closet. Nice little vanity area for us women. I like, I like having a separate tub and shower. I'm not a fan of the big showers. As long as this has a, now if this had a little seat to it, I'd be happy, but I like taking baths. I don't like those extremely huge showers, especially when it gets cold. It's a nice little vanity area. And then this huge walk-in closet. I like that they have the patio off of the master. It's beautiful. I would have expected the master to be over here away from the other bedrooms. This does have a bedroom downstairs, which is actually a key selling feature. There's a lot of people that like having the bedroom downstairs, not necessarily the master downstairs, but a bedroom downstairs for family members or guests when they visit or if they have right now with the multi-gen, with family moving in with each other, your parents, the mother-in-law suite, whatever you call it. I really like how they did this room. Very nice. Again, I like the whole white, gray, black accents throughout. It's beautiful. That's interesting. Peek of it again. Coming down the stairs. So here's what is included in the purchase of this new home by Crystal Canyon Woodside. They come with nine foot ceilings throughout, two panel square top interior doors, 18 by 18 ceramic tile in all the wet areas, which would be your kitchen and bathrooms and entryway. And then two-tone interior paint with options, different color options, chrome door hardware and lever handles, designer selected chrome fixtures, rounded drywall corners, windows designed for maximum natural lighting, convenient laundry room with gas dryer hookups. Um, and in the kitchen, it comes with a Delta Touch 2.0 pull down kitchen faucet with voice IQ, a Watts water filtration system, quartz or granite kitchen countertops with a four inch backsplash. Now you gotta remember if you do that, I wouldn't do that because when you think of the four inch backsplash, it just looks generic. Um, I would not have them do that. I would put in a custom tile backsplash personally. And then the granite and quartz options that you can choose from are just standard. They're just basic. But if you want that wow factor, I would definitely upgrade that. And also the cabinets that are included, which are beach cabinetry with 36 inch uppers and a one and a half inch crown molding. And it only comes in two colors. So for where me, if I were designing a new home, I would definitely go with a very neutral color that would stand the test of time. White, gray, black, no more of the oak 
or the wood looking cabinets. Yeah, it may be in style or it may not be in style. Who knows? Um, kitchen island with overhang and each plan. Stainless steel undermount sink with disposal. All stainless steel appliances included. All GE with a 30 inch gas range, a micro hood over the range, and a multi cycle dishwasher. And I think also a obviously a microwave. Now, something to consider when you buy in this community is that they will not provide the refrigerator or washer and dryer. So that's an added expense onto you. And let's see, it's pre plumbed for an ice maker and reverse osmosis. Pantry in each plan. There's a walk in shower in the master bath. Easy care fiberglass tub shower at all secondary bathrooms. Adult height vanity at master. Um, solid surface vanity with regular undermount sink in all the baths. Um, dual sinks at master. Frame mirrored medicine cabinet in all the full bathrooms. And a full size vanity mirror on all the full baths. Private water closet for the master elongated toilets in all the bathrooms and delta chrome faucets and accessories in all the bathrooms and pedestal sink in the um what's it called the powder room other features that come with this home is a 14 sear linux air conditioning unit tankless water heater which is awesome dual glaze low e vinyl windows radiant bearer roof sheeting programmable digital thermostat um, water efficient plumbing fixtures, ceiling fan is pre-wired at the master and great room and pre-wire for phone and cat six at master and kitchen, pre-wire for cable at master and great room and USB outlet at designated areas and a 200 amp electrical panel. So those are all the features that are included in this home that you buy in Crystal Canyon by Woodside. Anything else, it will be an upgrade. Basically what they do is they provide you a sheet of, of what you want to upgrade. So like, you know, you have different options. If you can see this, you have different options for the master bath and so forth. So that's, you know, important to think about when you're buying a home. There are approximately 87 home sites and they've already sold 13 and it's a four to five month home time bill. If you would like more information about Crystal Canyon, by Woodside Homes, you can always give me a call at 702-370-5112. As always, if you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, share with a friend, and smash that subscribe button. Hope you're enjoying these video tours. Kind of new at it, um, but you know, practice makes perfect and that it's an educational tool for you uh, buying a brand new home built here in Summerlin. Also, remember, if you're buying new construction, you need a real estate agent to represent you on the very first visit. And who else? Me. You need me because I am the expert of Summerlin. I try to educate myself daily and learning everything there is to know about this awesome master plan community. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to see you guys on the next one. Peace out.